तो हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल कोड विद विपा सो एज आई डिस्कस्ड इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव स्टार्टेड द कोर्स सी एस फिफ्टी बाय हार्वर्ड यूनिवर्सिटी एंड आई हैव डन द वीक जीरो लेक्चर व्हिच बेसिकली टॉक अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन टू कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड वी बेसिकली लर्न अबाउट स्क्रैच सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू बी टॉकिंग अबाउट प्रॉब्लम सेट जीरो एंड वॉट आई हैव डन फॉर द प्रॉब्लम सेट जीरो सो लेट सी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट द प्रॉब्लम सेट वॉज basically for the problem set 0 we had to make a project in scratch and there were some conditions given in the problem set like the project should have at least two sprites and there should be at least three scripts there should be one conditional one loop and at least one variable and there should be one custom block so if you've attended the lecture then you must know what a custom block is basically you define your own function and what a function is supposed to do and there's also this condition that the project should be more complex than the ones demonstrated in the lecture but honestly i've made a very simple very basic project and if you're also doing this course then i would recommend you to make a very simple and easy project don't spend a lot of time trying to make it look very beautiful or anything if you have a lot of time and you are very interested in doing that then you can go ahead but if you're someone with limited time then i would just say make a very basic project and move on to week 1 because week 0 is just about scratch and scratch is not the actual coding part anyway i will be now uh, showing you my project and what i have made so i've named my project fruit fall let's first of all see what happens in my project so basically as you can see there's this fruit platter at the bottom and all these different fruits are falling from the platter and the goal is to make the fruits fall in this fruit platter and when the fruits will fall a pop sound is made that's it that basically is the complete game so now let's see how i fulfilled all the conditions and how i've made this project now the first condition was that there should be at least two sprites and in my project there are like six sprites i have the fruit platter there are different fruits strawberry apple banana orange watermelon everything so there are six sprites so that condition is fulfilled now next condition was that there should be at least three scripts in total and i have a lot of scripts like i have a script for each of the fruits and then i also have a script for the fruit platter as well then the third condition was that there should be at least one conditional one loop and one variable so that condition is also fulfilled like like if you'll see there is this loop and there is conditional and i've also used variables then there was this condition that there should be a custom block that i have made i have made a custom block named fruit fall so let me explain my project for all the fruits the script is the same whether it's for strawberry apple banana everything the script is same the script is that when the green flag is clicked when the project is started fruit fall starts which fruit fall is basically my own custom block what is going on in fruit fall you can see in this block like i have defined fruit fall basically we go to x and we pick a random position from x like from minus 240 to 240 at any position and y should be 180 180 basically means top of the stage so the sprite is at any random position on the x axis like it could be anywhere but y is at the top of the stage and forever there's this condition that if the distance from the fruit platter is greater than 0 then y should be changing by minus 2 that is if the fruit is not touching the fruit platter if there is any distance between the fruit and the fruit platter then y will be changing by minus 2 that is the fruit will be falling that is how i have to find fruit fall and whenever the green flag is clicked fruit fall happens now for the sprite i have done this that whenever the sprite is clicked forever if the mouse pointer is touching the sprite then it will go to a random x and y should be 180 that is basically it goes to the top of the stage y 180 means it goes to the top of the stage and at any random position of x from minus 240 to 240 so this is basically the whole script of all the fruits and whenever this green flag is clicked if this is touching the fruit platter then a pop sound is played until it is done so basically that is for the sound effect whenever the fruit will be touching the fruit platter pop sound is played that is it that is the script for all of 
the fruits this clip is same i have fruit fall and whenever the fruit platter is touched pop sound is played and whenever the fruit is touched goes to the top of the table for all the fruit this clip is the same there is no difference at all because all the fruits are basically doing the same thing and for the fruit platter the script is something like this that whenever the green flag is clicked forever the condition is that if it is touching apple orange watermelon strawberry bananas any of it then we have to play this sound until it's done so that is basically my complete project and this is how it looks like ultimately you could make it a lot better you could include a lot of other things you could even use this idea and elaborate on it make it even better that was the end of my project i have fulfilled all of these conditions i think i might have not filled the last condition but honestly that was not my goal my whole goal was to make a very simple project and get done with it as quickly as possible i think i've spent hardly 30 to 45 minutes on this project and it was just made this is a very simple project not a lot of effort required and i didn't want to spend a lot of time on making this project but if you have time then i would recommend make a very interactive project make a, you could make you could actually make Make very interesting games using Scratch. So that's up to you. If you have time, I would totally recommend it. But if you don't have time, if you are in second year, third year like me, then I don't think you have any time to do that. You should just complete this project as soon as possible and move on to the next week. So next, I will be doing the lecture on week one, which is basically on C. And you can see there are a lot of topics going on over here. And the, and the actual coding part will basically start from week one. So next, I am going to be doing week one. and i will also do problem set 1 and i will be making a video on problem set 1 as well just like this so please subscribe to this channel and follow for more if you are also doing cs50 do comment on which week you are what you are planning to do next till then don't forget to like subscribe and share bye bye